stay a while and listen. What is going on, my fellow nerds? Abrasive Otter here, bringing you episode two of Stay a While and Listen. Today, we'll be discussing area damage and why it is arguably the best stat in the game. First, I'll be defining area damage and what it does, and then I will state the rules of area damage that apply. After that, we will shift into the math of area damage, showing some data and charts so I can better illustrate why area damage is so powerful. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So first we're going to be defining area damage. Area damage states you have a 20% chance on hit to deal X damage, being whatever area damage is rolled in your gear in Paragon, to all monsters within a 10 yard radius. So in basic terms, what it means is that you hit a target and you have a 20% chance that when you hit that target, you are going to deal X% percent damage, being your area damage rolled in gear and Paragon to everything else around that target within a 10 yard zone. But how big is 10 yards? Well, here's a picture showing the yard radius distance from the game's point of view. From here we can see that 10 yards is very big, but in high grifting and push grifting, understand that we can easily pull 20 monsters into a tight group like that. So what are the rules regarding area damage? Rule number one, area damage will not damage the monster who activated it. This means that if you proc area damage on a target, the target that proc area damage will not be dealt the area damage, only everything else around it. Rule number two, area damage has a chance to activate every time a monster takes damage. Because area damage is not inflicting a debuff, or in better terms modifying the monster's performance but simply dealing damage, there are no diminishing returns on area damage and therefore the 20% chance to proc area damage remains constant. Number 3. Area damage can activate from damage over time spells. Area damage does not need to be dealt from a single attack skill. Skills that deal multiple ticks worth of damage per attack, or damage over time, can proc area damage. But note it will only deal that ticks worth of damage and not the entire skills worth. So if you had 100% area damage with a 600% damage over time skill that ticks 6 times per attack and you proc area damage, you only deal 600 divided by 6 times 1 in terms of damage, or 100%. Rule number 4. Area damage emanates from the target that took damage, not your position. This is easy enough to understand guys, area damage will emanate from the target hit, not you. Rule number 5. As of 2.4, area damage can proc from pets but cannot proc from Sweeping Wind, Mantle Rule, or items such as LTK Helm, or any Fulminator, Odinson, anything like that. It's episode 1 essentially guys, besides pets, they're the outlier. Procs can't proc procs. So if you have an item that says on attack or on hit with X% percent chance to do Y affix, that FX can't deal area damage. You must be the source of damage for area damage to proc. Rule number 6. Area damage cannot proc on itself to cause a chain reaction. You must be the source of damage in order for area damage to proc. It's the same as the last rule guys, procs can't proc procs. So the damage dealt by area damage cannot chain react to proc another proc's worth of area damage. You must be the source of damage for area damage to proc. Rule number 7. Area damage radius does not need to cover a monster's entire hitbox in order to deal damage. It only needs to touch it. So as long as the outer line of the area damage radius and the outer line of the monster's hitbox radius touch, Damage will be dealt to that monster. The radius of area damage does not need to fully encompass the monster's hitbox in order to deal damage to it. So, like, that applies to Mallet Lords, guys. Mallet Lords hitbox is like 20 yards, so, you know, area damage can't fully encompass that, but it'll still tick if the lines are touching on the very outside of the hitboxes. Alright guys, so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually move into the math of area damage so you can kind of better grasp why area damage is such an amazing stat. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create an equation, right? And the first thing that we have is y times x minus 1 times 0 0.2, and we're like, we have no idea what these variables mean, right? So what I did was I kind of color-coded, you know, what we're doing. So what we have is our x minus 1. That's the first thing we go over, x minus 1. x minus 1 is our monster's hit. Now remember, the first rule of area damage states that the monster that procs area damage won't be dealt the damage dealt by area damage, right? Only everything else around it. So we always take the amount of monsters that we hit and we subtract one from it. Then we have 0 0.2, which is just our chance to proc area damage. Easy enough. And then we have our Y, which is our area damage efficient. Now in this example, we're going to be using 20% area damage. And the reason why is because we want to compare it with 20% elemental damage. Now other than the 10% crit hit chance and the 100% crit hit damage, 20% elemental damage is like the best multiplicative value roll that you can have in your gear. 
So what we want to do is we want to compare and say, well, how does 20% area damage compare with 20% elemental damage? And what we see from this is that as long as we hit six monsters, we have the same amount of true damage increase as 20% elemental damage. And then as we hit more monsters, we get a greater true damage increase than elemental damage. Well, now we're like, okay, well, how does this work with like more area damage? Like what if I had 50% area damage and instead of 10, I was hitting like 20 monsters, right? And, you know, what damage would I actually be doing? So that's why we're gonna move into sheet number two. And don't worry about all the crazy numbers, guys. I'm going to be guiding you along from the way. So what we have here on the left is we have each of the items that you can roll area damage in and the values that you can roll area damage in those. And then your Paragon points. And what we have is this maximum that you can roll, which is what we try to aim for, which is 174%. Now, the true maximum of area damage that you can get is 194%. But we do not run 20% area damage in our amulet because we have to choose between 20% area damage or 20% elemental damage because we already have crit crit socket so what do we choose area damage elemental damage well if we add 20% element area damage sorry to 174% area damage what we get is 194% which is technically an 11.49% true damage increase to our build but if we add 20% elemental damage, then we get 174 times 1.2, which comes out to 208.8% area damage compared to 194%. So it's a flat 20% damage increase. So the 20% elemental damage versus 20% area damage, once you get your area damage this inflated, is over 8%. So you want to roll elemental damage, right? So now what we're going to do is we want to compare. We want to say, okay, I have 50% area damage, which is just my Paragon. Like, how do, how, what is my damage increase? Well, we're going to go down to 20 monsters, all right? 20 monsters is a pretty easy number to obtain. When you're actually push grifting and high grifting, like, you can actually get 40 and do a nice tight mob like that with the right mob type. So what we see is that we get this 170% true damage increase. I mean, that's pretty that's pretty significant, right, guys? I mean, that's not too bad, I mean, but it's only 50% area damage. So what happens when I increase it to 94% area damage? So I'm going to roll up my weapon and one other piece of gear. And when we get to 20, what we see is we get a 337% true damage increase. That's a little more significant. I like where this is going, right? Well, what happens when I run the big kahunas? 174% area damage. Like, what is it? Well, at 20 monsters... We get a 641% damage increase. That's nuts. That's insane. Like, let's theorize here for a second, guys. Let's say that everywhere that we could roll area damage, we could roll elemental damage, all right? That means that we could get a 194% multiplicative damage increase to our gear. But with 174% area damage, we get a 641% multiplicative damage to our value from all this area damage. That's ridiculous. That's, that's near four times more damage than rolling what's considered one of the best stats in the game, right? That's, that's awesome. So that's why this meta is the way it is today. We have this Witch Doctor that has stuff that scales with sets and skills and they just stack all of this area damage i mean all of it and they get this crazy 641 percent damage increase only against 20 monsters it's even more when we get to bigger mobs right and so they just become the kings of clearing trash but against a rift guardian the worthless because they can't even proc area damage look it's at zero zero procs against it and this is where the rift guardian killer comes in and says I got you, fam, and kills the Rift Guardian. And that's why the meta is the way it is today, and this is why area damage is considered one of the best stats in the game. So that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you think of a new topic that you would like for me to cover in a later video, let me know in the comments section below. I'm Erase of Honor, and as always, take it easy.